in all the places of the earth, they know that the gods and spirits affect man's path. All the misfortune that befalls man lies at their feet. If you have eyes to see, you see their presence and their power. Keep your eyes open, traveler, and you might see their faces. Here, they once said that Loki lies imprisoned in a cave, trapped by his enemies, who set a serpent above to drip venom on his face. His wife, Sigyn, sits beside to catch the venom in a bowl, but when she must leave to empty it, the poison falls unabated. His pain is so great that he thrashes and writhes. And here above, we see the earth shake and break apart. Across the sea, they know that the earth is carried in the arms of a giant. When he is vexed or injured, he may not carry his burden so gently and the world will feel his anger and pain. In a land far away, they say the winds are trapped inside the earth. They try always to make their escape, and they buffet and beat on the walls of their prison, causing the earth to quiver. And when they break through, they make their escape. They explode out in fury. In the lands of your birth, people live hidden too, in the hills and stones. They may be the remnants of a godly race, who lost a war with giants and, finding the world changed, retreated into silence. But you still see their carvings and circles, from the time when they walked among men. Here, they know that if times are harsh, you may ask of the hidden folk to share their bounty. And if you are strong and wise and good, they may hear your plea and send you aid. But if you are not, or if you do not respect the strictures they lay down, you might have your strife doubled. In the lands of your birth, and in these lands too, they know that people can be taken by the secret fair ones. If you are not careful and do not keep to the pathways, you may find yourself among them. In a land to the east, they know that when a traveller finds themselves lost, it is the fault of the Vadadaj, who wait at the crossroads to trick souls passing by. The only remedy is to let your horse lead you home, because beasts have no souls. But if you have no horse, your soul is lost forever. Small ghosts clad in fluttering rags. 
when there are storms, they may cry as they did when they were human, and will look for their mothers until they find them, and never leave them again. In this land, you may catch sight of the Landesir, the spirits who embody the sacred places, the rivers and rocks. Do you see the Lady of the Mountain? The Fiat Kuna, who bathes in the waterfall and lets the drops fall on her shoulder. In the heart of the Northlands, they know the storms are born of the Oshkuredi, the hunt of Odin. The huntsmen ride horses with eyes of fire. Their weapons clash like thunder. And it is best to hide inside, lest your spirit be called to join them. In your lands, traveler, they know that the Kailif, the hag of winter, is the one who hurls sleet and snow upon the land. She lives in a sea rock and rules the waves of the roiling winter ocean with her blackthorn staff. She strikes the ground to destroy the shoots of growing green, so the winter will lie long and low on the land. These people know that the sea god, Ran, sets out nets to trap sailors and drag them to her world. She sends the waves, her daughters, to wreck boats, so she will have more men to take. And jealously, she pulls them down beneath the water. People here speak of warriors who can transform themselves into bears when they are enraged. Their skin becomes hide so thick, no sword or spear can break it. When King Hlofer fought Skold, many people saw a great bear fighting beside him, who killed more men with its paw than any five soldiers. Men here will tell of how Jarl Hakon worshipped the giant Thorgerda and sought her aid in the middle of battle when the tide was turning against him. Fleeing to an island, he pleaded with her for aid. She demanded a sacrifice. She rejected all of his offerings until he at last killed his own son in sacrifice. Thorgerda gave aid, and Hakon's enemies saw the giants striding amongst the ships, arrows flying from every finger and never missing their mark. Their morale was sapped, and Hakon won his battle. <laughs>